Hello everyone, I am Tale of the Toaster. If on the unlikely chance you've found this video just as a, as a World Cup football fan and not as one of my existing subscribers, I am known for making YouTube videos on a series of football video games and anime seasons called Inazuma 11. It's very over the top, doesn't translate to real football logic whatsoever, and that's why I thought, wouldn't it be great if I tried to predict some real football. So we've got the World Cup 2022 happening later this month and I am going to make my expert predictions and opinions. Of course with the disclaimer that I am not an expert whatsoever. My knowledge of the Premier League extends to the fact I live in Newcastle and Newcastle are in third at the moment so that's good and I can tell you about maybe one or two player names from each team, whom I could in, there's plenty where I couldn't name a single one, but this will actually be the most accurate World Cup prediction you have ever seen, because it comes not from a place of football expertise, but from a place of pure, unbridled passion. <laughs> okay, so Group A. As a Inazuma 11 YouTuber, a lot of my subscribers hail from the Netherlands, do I think the Netherlands is going to do well in this World Cup? Actually, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that bad, trust me. I know that Netherlands are very likely to get first place in this group, and I don't think that's really in doubt. Out of the remaining three, my understanding is that Qatar are very likely to get last, and I don't think that's going to be too different, but... I'd be happy if they got some points, because i love to see some debutantes in each World Cup. Uh, but it comes down to Ecuador and Senegal. So maybe I've overhyped how little I, I know about football. I at least watch every World Cup and Euros. I'm aware of, for instance, how Senegal went out to Japan in the last World Cup on fair play <laughs> points. Um, Senegal are also considered to be a much better team than Ecuador and generally the leading light of uh, Africa. But you know what? Ecuador did really well in the American qualifications just on account of, I think, much like Bolivia, they were very used to the high altitude and playing in different uh, environments and just getting some wins at home before mainly losing away. I know they had like a winning streak at the start and then bottled it. Uh, how will that transfer over to Qatar? It's very much on the other side of the world to Ecuador, but I think even though geographically maybe Senegal is a bit more like it, I don't know, I think Ecuador are used to playing with different advantages of the air type and they're going to get second in this group and Senegal are going to have another punishing defeat. Next up we've got Group B, if you haven't met me before, which I think is very unlikely. I am, of course, English. Do I think it's coming home? No. Do I think we're coming out of the group? Yes, but in second. Now this is a group that I have predicted uh, actually match for match, because I've shared my predictions with other people in the past and they thought, what on earth are you doing? How have you gotten this? So let me say, England is going to beat Iran 2-0. They're then going to draw with the USA, just like they did in 2010. It'll be a 1-1 or something, and they'll also get a 0-0 with Wales, because every time they face someone like Scotland or Wales, it's always a goalless slog, and England will probably already be through at that point. So it's going to be second on account of one win and two draws. Who's going to get two wins? I say it's Iran, and I know that's an unpopular opinion. I think they're going to open their group by losing to England, but then Iran versus USA, I think Greg Berhalter, there you go, I know one manager name, will be too confident to try and take down a country which the USA doesn't exactly appreciate, and they'll mess it up completely and they'll lose. But also, I think USA is still going to beat uh, Wales, or at least draw with them, uh, and on account of drawing with England as well. I guess I've got England drawing with them both, but Wales is undoubtedly a better team at the moment than the USA, but I know USA and Wales fight each other last, and I think after a an embarrassing defeat against Iran, you could say USA 
as big of a country as it is might finally get themselves together and get a potentially unlikely-ish win over Wales. Meanwhile, Wales will just walk away with either the one draw against USA and England or maybe just the draw against England. Group C, right, I'm not stupid. Argentina gets first, but then what it comes down to out of the remaining teams. Saudi Arabia gets slept on a lot in this in these predictions. They are in an incredibly difficult group, and I'm not going to divert too much from what's popular. I will put them last, but much like I've got Ecuador getting out of the group on account of them playing in different heat and atmosphere uh, formats, I wouldn't rule out Saudi Arabia doing quite well here, actually, because they're basically at the doorstop. But unfortunately, I think it boils down more importantly to the battle between Mexico and Poland. Mexico, of course, famously making it to the round of 16 and no further for seven World Cups straight. And although I recognise that Poland are probably the better team at the minute, I think when it gets to a World Cup, Mexico just does it. They, they get out of the groups and I will probably have them falling in the round of 16 as well. Group D then. This is a funny one that I'm very much looking forward to. The World Cup champion curse is a thing and were France to fall in the group that would be quite amusing <laughs> if nothing else but they've very much tried to prevent that with a group like this. This is perhaps the easiest walkover group that I can see on this on this web page to be honest unless you have the Netherlands. Is that fair? Well obviously Denmark is extremely good and they are capable of beating France. They did it twice in the Nations League but I think the World Cup and the Nations League will be very different environments and I'm gonna have to bring an end to the World Cup curse and have France at least get out of the group but maybe we'll curse them a little bit later on. I will just have Denmark get a second as well. This is going to be a very standard uh, set of predictions. Australia and Tunisia. Sorry if I did the American pronunciation. Uh, I meant to say Tunisia as a Brit, but I've been watching a couple of World Cup hype videos and now I'm just used to saying Tunisia, I guess. Uh, Tunisia are considered the better team, but like, I'm not even sure which of these is meant to be the pot three team. Neither are like superb in terms of reputation along the line. I think Australia are perhaps the more lucky team to get this far, but maybe when it actually gets to the world stage, could I see them beating Tunisia? I think I could. I recognise that Tunisia is A, a bit better, and B, I've been very unkind to any African nation so far, but I'm going to keep it up because, I mean, I'm going to Australia in May, so I want them to be good, if nothing else. Now, group he has broken my heart. I, wa I was able to watch the live draw for the World Cup on a train and I could barely even get any mobile data to actually watch the live stream, but before it was even confirmed that Costa Rica were going to be in the World Cup, I was able to work out that they were going to be in here with a pot one team of Spain and a pot two team of Germany. And... This breaks my heart because Costa Rica is my favourite football team. I actually really, really want to go to the country sometime just on account of how much I love the football. Kayla Navas is like my favourite football player of all time. And they've put them in the most unwinnable group against two titans in Spain and Germany. The fact that Germany is a pot two team is absurd. But then they've also put in Japan! <laughs> But it's just my second favourite football team. I hate this group. This group sucks. Because Spain and Germany are two of the most reliably amazing teams in the World Cup. They almost never fail to make it out. Whereas Japan are like my plucky underdogs. I love them because of Inazuma 11, the Japanese football team. There, but I'm even watching Blue Lock at the moment and it's just commenting on what the actual Japanese football team could be doing better. But the season hasn't finished airing, so I'm going to put Japan in last. They are at the moment considered to be better than Costa Rica. I think Spain is meant to be the pot one team, but I think Germany's going to get top. I feel like they're a little bit uh, just more prepared than Spain at the moment. I mean, I'm talking out my arse, aren't I? I'm just, I think Germany's going to beat Spain, and that will decide 
everything. Out of Spain and Costa Rica, who do I think is going to win? My head says Spain, my heart says Costa Rica, but everything else says Spain. But you know what, it's my prediction video and I actually... The reason I like them so much is because of that historic 2014 campaign and I knew like way less about football and all I knew about that group was Italy's really good, they're going to win the group, Uruguay, they're decent, England, they were on a real poor streak at the moment so I had England getting last in that group which was a correct prediction and then I also for the fun of it put Costa Rica above Uruguay and had them getting in second and then what do you know they got first, they won the group, so if I can get it in recorded video format that Costa Rica is going to prevail over Spain, I've turned, changed my accent partly through because I know I'm chatting, I'm, I'm chatting out my arse, it's not going to happen, but it is going to happen because I've said it in a video, Costa Rica goes through in second. And having done a prediction a couple months ago, I know that getting out of this group in second is, is a worthless prize anyway, but we'll get to that later. Actually, we might be getting to it quite soon. I think Belgium is somehow involved. Right, Group B, Group F, sorry. I'm going to be bold. Canada's getting first. I realise I've done quite a few bold shouts in a row. I've had Costa Rica getting through. I've had Iran getting top, which apparently is bold, but I'm, I, th I think the way I've done it, you know, lose to England and then just beat the other two, and then you happen to get first because England gets a draws against the other English-speaking nations. You know, there's reasoning, but Canada, all I can say is it makes too much narrative sense. They won the North American qualifiers simply on account of it was their time. Canada is a huge country and the fact that they've never been good at football ever before makes no sense. Like, it makes no sense that the USA aren't better as well, but Canada especially. This is the second World Cup they've ever been in. And like, why? Canada should be amazing. Yes, they're focused on hockey, but now that they are in winning form and actually having a bit of hype behind them for the first time ever, I think they're going to be underestimated by these other teams, they're going to be underestimated by the viewing public, and they're not just going to get out of the group, they're going to win the group. Morocco I will have to put in last without further comment really, because it comes down to Croatia, the reigning runners-up of the World Cup who are decidedly less hyped up, and Belgium the team who did worse at the last World Cup but were way more hyped up. Belgium is seen they used to be ranked number one for ages, and I never quite got that. I thought, all right, they're, they're, they're top five. They're not necessarily better than, like, Brazil or France. They, they've never won anything. Will they get through this group, or will it be Croatia again? I really like the Croatian football team, and I think I am cheering for them. Yeah, I'm supposed to hate them as an Englishman. They knocked us out of the semi-finals at the last World Cup, so I'm supposed to hate Croatia with every fibre of my being but I it was ever since they got like third place in a Euros tournament or something I just noticed that on Wikipedia one day before I even knew what Croatia was as a country and I'm like I've never heard of them but they got third in a football tournament so I like them now and I've liked them ever since and one day I'm going to visit the country just on account of how football has made me like them but I don't think I can cut Belgium out of my top 16. I've had to sacrifice Croatia to make room for Canada, basically. So I'd be really happy if it was Canada and Croatia getting through. Uh, no disrespect to Belgium. I'm sure I've got a few subscribers there as well. And I've, I've, I was there last month, actually. But I, I can't deny the brilliance of the team, even if they're quote-unquote aging a bit. Next up, Group G, and I'm just going to put Brazil in first, obviously. Cameroon, I think I will have to put in last as well. They're a really interesting squad in that they're the African nation who's qualified the most often, but then when they get there, they always seem to do the worst. It was like one time in the 90s they got the quarterfinals, and I, th I think it's a statistic that Cameroon haven't got a point in a World Cup since 2002, right? Even though they keep getting there, I hope this can be the one to change it. But 
I'm making enough bold shouts already. I don't need to say that Cameroon is going to get anything other than fourth. It comes down to Serbia and Switzerland, and Switzerland are kind of the mainstays who do well more often, whereas Serbia feels like a more recent come-up. They did very well to beat Portugal in their qualifying group, but I think basically last World Cup 2018, Brazil, Serbia and Switzerland were in the same group, and it was Brazil first, Switzerland second. This time the narrative feels more on Serbia's side, like they would get second, and I think that's exactly why they're going to fail. People are going with are going to go in with expectations that Serbia can beat Switzerland this time. Everyone's going to get all excited. They might even take the lead in the game. In fact, you know what I say, it will be a 2-1 in Switzerland's favour with Serbia getting the first goal, but they'll just let it slip away and then we'll end up with the same result as last time. Finally, Group H, and at least out of all of these, I've either made bold shouts, but I've been confident in them, or I've made bold shouts and it's through nothing but pure belief, like Costa Rica. This is the one where I just don't really have any idea in general. Like I've still got a couple of normally ones, like Argentina, Mexico, France, Denmark is the most obvious. But with Group H, whether I was trying to go on pure belief, narrative, other factors that don't actually exist, or just pure footballing knowledge, with this one I just don't know who's gonna win. I've thought about it for a little bit. I think any outcome of this group I could believe. I think the least likely would be Ghana getting through, I guess. I don't want to give last place to every African team other than Senegal, who I've got losing to Ecuador, but I think I just kind of have to. Would Ghana beat South Korea? Maybe? I think what I'm basically saying is I have Uruguay and Portugal getting through, and Portugal, are they the pot one team here? Because that feels a little unfair, considering they lost to Serbia in the qualifiers, had to scrape through the Italy route that Italy didn't compete in. Like, Netherlands and Germany are pot two. Why would Portugal be number one? Maybe it is Uruguay, but like, either one of them feels out of place when Germany is punishing Japan and Costa Rica. But I'm going to put Portugal second. And between Ghana and Korea, I would love it if Ghana could beat Uruguay and avenge their very unfortunate knockout loss in 2010, right? I think I've got the year right. Uh, but I, the thing that I'm most happy to say in this group is Uruguay gets top. I feel a little more confident in them in Portugal. That's not really paying any attention to the rematch against Ghana, but for Uruguay to get top, they would have to beat Ghana, so therefore I guess I will have to put Ghana last and Korea third. I really hope Ghana can beat Uruguay. I'll be cheering for them more than anyone in this group, I think. But yeah, to say that, you know, it's supposed to be Portugal getting first, I'm going to say Uruguay gets it to be a little bit different. That means I have to punish Ghana. So we move on to the top 16. Now this I couldn't possibly plan for, like I don't know what matches I'm getting, but they're here in front of my face. We have Netherlands versus England. My two largest demographics in the comments. Uh, my home country against the nearest country that loves in Azuma 11, but Netherlands have much better form at the moment. England also tend to have a bit more luck in major tournaments at the moment, winning the women's Euros, winning, well, getting uh, third, fourth in the last World Cup and second in the Euros. Netherlands had that really good period, but they've struggled ever since. I would love it if Netherlands could win the whole tournament. I think once it comes out of all the favourites, if I could pick one to actually win, I'd love it to be a first-time win for the Netherlands, and I think I'd value that more than actual England success. Call me a fake patriot if you want. But do I think that Netherlands would beat England at this stage? Like, in the Euros, Netherlands lost to Czechia in the first round of the, of the knockouts, despite having a really good group performance. Could that happen again? I'm going to say yes. I'm not happy about it. I think I, I, wa I want to see a timeline where Netherlands wins the World Cup. But for now, it's going to be 
I'm going to say it's England. I might regret that one later. Um, Argentina and Denmark. I would also love it if Denmark could get a rematch with England because in the Euros, we cheated. We were 1-1. We did not deserve that penalty. Denmark, yeah, we were winning on possession and maybe we would have won on penalties anyway. Like, I wouldn't say that Denmark were winning the match, but they definitely didn't foul us. So, like... <laughs> They should have at least gotten the chance to have the penalty shootout. That match, even as a resident of England, made me really sad. So I would like to see Denmark get a rematch against us and win. But I don't think they will get one because they have Argentina in their path. Then Germany and Belgium. Uh, hmm. So this is where the Costa Rica gets involved. You know, if I had Belgium in first like you're supposed to instead of... Wait a minute. Oh, well, that looks so rigged. <laughs> I didn't even plan on that. Oh, no. I swear I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, I remember the first time I did a World Cup 2022 prediction. I guess I did have Belgium winning the group. And then I thought, oh, I've pushed Costa Rica through in second. And then I've punished them with Belgium anyway. Um, for now, with this matchup, I think Germany has been underrated going into this World Cup, and I think they're going to win again. And that's the end of Belgium's golden generation, I guess. I also think that Brazil will just win against Portugal. Like, when I see Argentina and I see Brazil, no thoughts, only win. Iran versus Ecuador is one of the funny matchups that I've set up that no other prediction will have in the second round. And. I'm going to go with Ecuador. Like, Iran, most people have them getting last in the group against USA and Wales, so maybe it's finally time for them to get a defeat. You know, climate-wise, Iran is probably a lot closer to Qatar than Ecuador is, I guess, so my whole argument of climate advantage doesn't exist. But, like, in this case, Ecuador, I think, is just considered to be a better team than Iran. Like, they're both upsets making it here, in my prediction, but... I've got to pick one to win, so I guess people would actually be picking Ecuador in this situation. But if it ends up being Senegal there instead, I'd be I'd be delighted for them to have another quarterfinals run. France versus Mexico. World Cup curse against goes out in the round of 16 curse. Who wins in that scenario? Yeah, the World Cup curse, the World Cup champion curse is already gone. I'm just putting France through another landmark result for Mexico. And Canada out, Canada against Costa Rica, you've got my favourite team of all time against the complete underdogs who are here out of nowhere. They were obviously in the same qualification group in North America. Canada won the first time, Costa Rica won the second time when it was more important, like Canada were already through and then Costa Rica needed the wins to get through. And they clutched it, but I feel a little bad that I've got Costa Rica getting this far anyway. And if I'm confident enough to say Canada wins the group over Belgium and Croatia, then yes, they can beat Costa Rica. This is my perception of Canada. I have them making it to the quarterfinals in their second ever World Cup, where they will be facing... Ah, oh, that's tough. I struggle with every Uruguay match, you know? Switzerland so stoutly defensive. Uruguay so stoutly defensive but with the extra X factor of the occasional handballs or the Luis Suarez, whatever he wants to do. Is he still on the team? I don't, I don't know about players. I know about the, the past history of the teams, but when it comes to tactics, coaches, players, that's why you lose me. And anything to do with the Premier League, I don't watch anything that's not international football. I would like to think that Switzerland can win this, but I'm... Um... Am I going to go with it? This is a world where I have Uruguay winning the group over Portugal. So I guess that's enough to say Uruguay can win again. It brings us to the quarterfinals by England. And Germany obviously very historic against Brazil. Are we going to see a 7-1 again? Not this time. Do I think Germany still wins? Probably not. But... If anyone is going to take out Brazil, I think Germany is the most likely because I'm just going to skip ahead a bit. Brazil gets to the finals by Argentina. I think people are generally favouring Argentina more at the moment 
they're slightly more rated, but I'm not sure where that's come from. It's like both haven't lost a match in over a year, but Brazil still had way more points in the in the Comnebol qualifiers. They got way more wins. Not neither of them lost, not even against each other. They would they just had one draw and one cancelled match, but I feel like people are just hyping up Messi's last World Cup a little bit too much and picking them to beat Brazil without particular reason. Which is also what I've been doing for literally every one of these predictions up to this point. I've been picking, you know, Canada because I want to, but I just don't think Argentina are necessarily going to beat Brazil. So I have them in the final. Ecuador versus France, it's finally over for Ecuador. I couldn't possibly have them getting to the top four. So the reigning champions moves on. But it's Canada versus Uruguay. I told you I struggle to rate Uruguay. I don't see why they would win or lose to anyone. I think they're the team that I know the least about. Even one of the countries in the cup that I know the least about just in general. I'm really waiting for your geography now to go alphabetically down to the U section, but they have to get past uh, the UK and the United States of America before they can make a Uruguay episode. But they have to lose somewhere. Do I really want to put Uruguay in my top four, despite having no confidence in anything that they've done up to this point? They did break down the really nice Ghana run at this exact stage to make the top four last time. Like, it would have been so good for Ghana to win that, and they so nearly did, but Uruguay just crushed their dreams. So this is the same scenario again. Canada is the absolute upstarts. Top eight in their first ever World Cup. One potentially winnable opponent away from getting to the semi-finals, and that's when it crumbles. Uruguay, I didn't even realise I was going to do this, but I guess I have Uruguay in my top four against France. Do I have them beating France? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I do. The World Cup final is Brazil versus Uruguay, and obviously Brazil wins. Uh, what? what, what? I, need to, I need to put a score in. No. No, I'm not putting a score in. I've been recording for 28 minutes, but I'm going to say Uruguay make up for their really disappointing defeat of Canada. They re redeem themselves in the heart of the public a bit by beating France to finally have some element of reigning champion curse, and then they bottle it against Brazil, and we have the same winner as five previous. But this has been a non-expert who reads... Wikipedia articles about previous World Cup, making his slightly Inazuma 11 predictions for the Qatar World Cup. I'll be watching it from home. Leave your comments with your predictions down below, and let's see if any of this comes true, because it just might... If Canada gets out of the group, I told you, you heard it here first. They're going to win... They'll win the group and make it to Uruguay. Anyway, Qatar for now.